Do you suffer from depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, disordered eating, anger, sadness, feeling alone, unheard? Do you have mood swings, hair loss, acne, oily skin, skin tags, high blood pressure, ovarian cancer, insulin resistance, diabetes, high cholesterol, weight gain, bloating, the scary one, infertility, painful cysts, irregular cycles, poor memory, fatigue, do you always want to sleep. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. If you haven't yet, if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Today we're going to be talking about something that's a little bit different <laughs> and it's a little bit more personal. Just kind of getting into the nitty gritty, but it is to just reach out to those people that are going through the same experience, just to bring some awareness about PCOS and just, you know, talk about those things that a lot of people just kind of avoid talking about. So guys, it is a lot to get into with PCOS and the more I learn about it the more I realize that there's so much more for me to learn about PCOS and I am on my own personal journey I am going to share this journey with everyone that's watching on my YouTube channel anybody that is able to relate with me because I know that it is hard and I know that you can feel so lonely sometimes so I am here to just kind of share my voice let you guys know that I am in it to win it that I am here with you I know what it's like so if you are questioning whether you have PCOS or not honestly chances are you do have it I'm just kidding but one out of ten women do suffer from PCOS one out of 10 women, that is crazy. It's like, how common is PCOS? You may ask, it is extremely common. It's, it's crazy it's that I even feel alone in this considering that so many people are going through it as well. What's really scary is that this can lead to more serious issues like anxiety and depression. So I think this is why I find it so important to just kind of, you know, just m really make it aware that this is an issue that this is serious it's not something that needs to be brushed off to the side like it's not really something that um, needs to be heard of or talked about or just an issue like a real serious issue amongst so many women I was never really someone that had like issues in that sort of I guess part of my life I was always pretty regular I never had like painful periods or anything of that sort like I never suffered from acne that wasn't an issue for me so it wasn't until maybe last year that I started changing where I started becoming more irregular where I started missing periods and having periods that were a lot more painful the first couple of symptoms that I had was where I was having a lot of like lower pelvic pain and this really 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 just kind of caused me to worry I didn't know what to think what to expect is just kind of mind blown. I went to the gyno a couple times, I went to get checked, I did everything that I could in the beginning. I didn't really like know that PCOS was a thing. Everything was always coming out okay, like I was fine. And it wasn't until um, January of this year where I had like the most painful period ever where I ended up having to go to the hospital um, because I was throwing up, I, I pretty much fainted. I had like a crazy anxiety attack because I didn't know exactly what was wrong with me. And I went to the hospital, they basically told me that a cyst had popped in my ovary. They kind of brushed it aside, let me know that I was okay and not to worry that it could happen again, and that's it. So after that, I was like, what the hell? I didn't really understand. I didn't know if I needed to get like these cysts removed, if I needed to take like further action. So it, that's when like my family and my boyfriend, everyone was like, go get checked, like go to a doctor, go get like x-rays and like, you know, take the next step. So I did, and this was a lot of like money and time invested especially because I don't have insurance so it came out like pretty pricey on my end and I just wanted to know what was going on with me I went ahead and did that I went and I went to a doctor and I went through the x-rays I went through like the pap smear the cat scans and all for them to just kind of tell me that I was okay and that I had PCOS so when I asked the doctor what what it was basically she said it was very common it was normal not to freak out the only like main like Thing that a lot of people kind of freak out about is that they can be less fertile and it may be more trouble for me to have kids in the future it left me with that that was it 
So within the last couple of months, my personal journey has been ups and downs, definitely. Um, of course, after that, I took it as it was. I didn't really like know that there was a way to reverse it, to lower the symptoms. I took it as like the doctor told me, like, this is how I am, that's it. Like, I didn't know that there was causes to this. I didn't know that there was things I could do, lifestyle changes, mindset changes, things that I could do in order to reverse these symptoms. The symptoms that I suffer from the most is the hair loss. It has been um, such a journey for me, I think, because my hair has been something that I have been trying to repair for so, so long because I got extensions last year in June and it made me lose so much hair. And so this past year has been such a huge journey of me not touching my hair, not doing much with my hair, um, not dyeing it, not doing anything, you know? It's been such a, like, I've been trying to grow out my hair. So for me to be putting so much of an effort on keeping it healthy and just taking showers and seen so much of it fall out and brushing my hair and seeing so much of it fall out it's so frustrating it's, it's so it's like kind of like you're staying in a stagnant place because yeah you're seeing some growth but you're losing so much of it that has been something that has been hard to kind of see you know especially when you're like getting ready you know showering and seeing that excessive hair loss um, it's not a good feeling um, another thing is just like I guess the hormonal Joseph's in the kitchen making a shake so if you hear the shake right now sorry I guess like hormonal wise what I have been suffering from is the hormonal acne I have mentioned that continuously on my Instagram that I do suffer from the hormonal acne and it's only within that time uh, other than that I have like pretty clear skin and it's like painful cystic acne that comes like in the center of my face so it's like hello I am here I am ready to play and another thing is just the emotional roller coaster of everything like I can be easily triggered and I can feel alone and just really like I don't know what's going on with me because I feel like I have gotten to a point where like I am able to tell when something's wrong in my body and I know there's something wrong which is the irregular periods and the per and the, the painful periods so those are kind of like the symptoms that I'm suffering from and um, that I am looking to reverse completely I do eventually want to have kids we are not planning to have kids anytime soon but we are planning to wait and I am 23 now and we are planning to wait for like maybe like my late 20s, early 30s and um, I mean that's just kind of what I've wanted for a very long time. If I even ever had kids, I wanted to wait around that age group of time. It sucks to hear that you're, you may be infertile because as you grow that already happens naturally. So of course I want to do my part and do what I'm able to do to reverse those symptoms and hopefully not suffer from that symptom. And of course nowadays there's ways to just make it a possibility but I just hope to do everything naturally. So guys, that's kind of been my personal journey. I of course never ever want to keep you guys on a video for too long, so I hope to keep this short and simple. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm very excited to be sharing this journey with you all, and hopefully if you guys are going through any of the similar symptoms that you guys are able to learn something from these next couple of weeks of me sharing some of the things that I'm implying to my lifestyle, implying to my mindset, and you know, just changing a few things that are definitely applicable to pretty much anybody don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next week